Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to modify a thermally controlled fan, such as a fan like this. Perhaps you have one of these fans and you just don't like how it runs so slow because it's it only speeds up when your computer or whatever gets hot. Well, there's a simple way to modify this fan to make it run at full speed at all times. Today I'm going to show you guys how to disable the thermal control on a thermally controlled fan. First I'm going to show you guys how these fans work. A thermal control fan usually contains a thermistor, or thermistor, however you want to pronounce it. It is basically a resistor that changes its resistance to the surrounding heat. Here is a close up of one by itself. Basically how these things work is when the surrounding heat gets hotter, the resistance in them lowers so more current can flow through them. And when the surrounding air around these things is colder, they have more resistance to let less current through. So basically, when the air coming through these fans gets hotter, the fans speed up. Similar to how a fan clutch in a car speeds up when the radiator air gets hotter. I'm showing you guys a little example here. We have a candle. We'll light this candle up as our heat source. So now we're going to go ahead and plug our fan into power. Here's the fan running. I'm going to move the thermistor over the candle a little bit. So basically, once the heat of the candle got into the fan, the thermistor had less resistance, the fan sped up, and sucked more over the candle and blew the candle out. Now I'm going to go ahead and bypass the thermistor by creating a short circuit. Notice how the fan speeds up because there is no more resistance between the fan and the thermistor so the fan speeds up and really moves a lot of air to perform the next step you'll just need a pair of dikes and a small pair of needle nose pliers go ahead and cut off the power to the fan these are very simple steps. Probably gonna take you no more than, I don't know, five minutes tops. Now we'll go ahead and snip the leads to the thermistor. But try to get the dikes as close to the bottom of the thermistor chip itself to leave as much metal left as possible for the next step. Now, here is the thermistor chip itself from this fan. Now you can see the leads to where the thermistor was located. We'll now go ahead and take our needle on those pliers. And push them together. And we'll try to go ahead and get them twisted a little bit to get a good secure connection if you it's up to you if you want to go ahead and solder these on your fan go right ahead but it's not necessarily a requirement because once you twist these leads you'll get a good enough connection to bypass the thermistor
Natalie's are touching together. Let's go ahead and plug our fan back in. Now the fan is running at top speed. Moves quite a bit of air now. Only got my fingers in that, that's for sure. Bro, it feels too good. This now makes the fan run at full speed, which is good for people who are people who are overclocking their computers, or just anyone who wants the fan to run at max speed rather than the really slow speed that these fans would typically run at. This is also good for people who prefer to have the motherboard's smart fan controller control the speed of the fan. Now, when the fan is being used as a CPU fan or case fan, if extra cooling is needed. The motherboard can now turn up the speed of the fan without being limited by the thermostat would normally be on the fan. Anyways, that's how you can bypass the thermistor on a thermal control fan and make it run at full speed. Any questions or comments? Let me know.